So, Jay, this year has been a wild one, hasn't it? Yeah, 2010 has been anything but dull, baby. Yeah, we had the good times, the bad times, made friends, made enemies, but either way, we all came as one during BotCon and after it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dog. BotCon was definitely, for me, one of the highlights of the year because it was my first BotCon and I had the chance to meet one of my idols, dude. Yep. Afterwards, it was just Transformers kind of fight place in the world. And still, we had made a lot of friends after BotCon. And plus, we try to get more better in each video. But this time, we look back at some of the things we have done. Yeah, we're going to do a little retrospect, reflect for a minute on 2010. Almost definitely. But if you have not seen the last retrospect, links on the bottom bar, guys. But before, before we go, I'm tagging five people, Jay. Tag five people. And what will be Shaw Long? Um, Neilis Prime, Rimfire, Realistic, and John P. If you know what I'm talking about, Jay, we met them at BotCon and they were cool. They were cool people, man. That was really, really nice, man. It good. was good to meet some people. Yeah, the reason why we tagged them because we want to see their feedback of this year from their from their own experiences from BotCon beyond the reviews. You know, this is their. It's kind of like our tag to y'all. So this is a head up. So come up next year. It's high time we do this year's like, respect. Coming up next, Jay Jero and Big B. Hang on, folks. This is our kind of like our final look about of this year. That is Jay Jero back at you. And on my retrospect for 2010, 10 videos that I really enjoyed being a part of, and not necessarily in this order, was we had the chance to collab and we did a review on the animated Ratchet and Ratchet, his Earth mode versus his Cybertron mode. How was that review? Man, I enjoyed doing the review because I really enjoyed the figures. I enjoyed the difference between the two of them as well as just the display that we were able to create. Almost definitely. What's up with nine? Now, another one I really, really enjoyed doing while we were on the animated tip, I really, really enjoyed doing the Optimus versus the Rodimus. That was totally cool because you see both of them as young, quote-unquote, cavaliers at their, quote-unquote, peak as they're growing into what will be Legend. Transformer, exactly, Transformer Legends. I thought that was really, really cool. Well, because when I look at um, the Toys Us Exclusive Rabbits, I mean... It blew my socks off to this day, and they find me more perfect. But it'll be, it'll be up and later on in our reviews next year, so how's the, how do you feel about Optimus as well? Optimus, I thought, was pretty cool. Like I said, as far as the animated toy collection was concerned, animated was one of those series that at first it took a minute to grow on me because the animation style up a little getting used to I did really appreciate the story but as a collector and enthusiast I really liked that the toy line matched the animated series I thought that was cool how about eight but another one as you mentioned I enjoyed was flipping over to the movie uh, Revenge of the Fallen what I liked was the side swipe versus the sidearm side swipe that was really cool to see the difference between the blades and the guns and oh, to yeah. see how they retool the figure to make him better. Yeah, because when we did that review, I, I liked how he looked better on. I wish, the only thing we can play about in that video to this day had be the color, the, the um, blue versus red. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I personally would have preferred that they had redid him, retooled him with the quote-unquote original movie paint scheme. But, but either way, he, time, he was cool. He, he was, he's he a must have. And then uh, another set that I enjoyed doing has to be uh, when I was cutting up and doing the G.I. Joe pack and, you know, doing the different voices and messing around. You know, that was really, really fun. Exactly. You did um, the voice of Zartan, which was perfect, dead on. But I had to add this one, too. It was you doing... Oh, dude, dial tone voice. when I did dial tone, dude, that had me cracking up. I was trying to do that and actually not come apart laughing because I was like, 
we didn't really write down a dialogue or rehearse a dialogue. It was just off the cuff, and I almost came apart doing that. But oh, yeah. that review was really, really fun. Yeah, and I, I got down part of my list, too, so stay tuned because there's more. <laughs> and then, you know, another one I enjoyed was the two most powerful men in the universe matching up He-Man versus Superman. Now, Superman and He-Man was the perfect match for any toy or comic book fan there is. When we did that, we had to do it like Howard Purcell and Wild Wars was back in the day. I yeah, mean, yeah, that was I mean, fun. I mean, to this day, we have our ESPN universe. He-Man versus Superman. That was really fun. I mean, it was just downright old school from, from when we were just babies. But you know another throwback that I enjoyed doing? What's it? The Captain America versus Bucky. Oh, yes. It was just that. That Captain America and Bucky review, I really, really enjoyed the detail and articulation oh, of yes. that Captain America figure yeah. particularly. Cap, Cap and Bucky had the, the perfect color scheme, the perfect um, story on them, and just blew me away, including the coloring, the, the articulation, plus... The body model of them just top notch, beautiful, and I mean, even if you try to put it in Marvel Legend, that color scheme will be dead on to Marty's to this day. Now, not to confuse that with the other Bucky woman, where he was wearing that uh, caution orange that was just saying "shoot me," but <laughs> the one where they came with the two pack, I really, really liked that. And of course, I can't forget about the Toys R Us exclusive. The uh, Masterpiece Grimlock that you picked up as opposed to the Japanese yep. Masterpiece Grimlock I had and seeing the difference between oh, the yeah. two of those. That was pretty cool, that, particularly seeing those displayed together. Yeah. And like I said, I had that on my list too, so we talk more about that later on. And the other things I, I enjoy, like I said, as we talked at the top of this, you know, our preview to BotCon, because I really didn't know what to expect considering, you know, I hadn't been there before. Yeah. I enjoyed kind of doing that vlog. Yeah, because it was... It was we didn't know what was going to happen because I know it was like a whole entire weekend. I want to see Friday, Friday one so bad. But neither of us didn't have the um, the um, the um, Transformer Club membership, which was our expense right now. But still, we well, I mean, for me, I I haven't done a whole lot of conventions, so yeah. it was neat to actually go to a convention yeah. and meet up with some people that geeked on Transformers like I do. Yeah, but before, but after that, we but had the, after the, show. Aftermath, the aftermath was just a whole different story. Yeah, I mean, we had pics, we had met yeah. people, yeah. we had made some pretty cool purchases. I really enjoyed that. Yep, yeah, most definitely. But you know, the one thing, and probably I would have to put as my top ten on the list right now, Who? is the fact of Transformers Prime. Oh, I yes. really, really eagerly we, anticipated we, that series. We had we had a long talk about that, and still to this day, it brought back old school the way we love it. It's crazy, dude. That series aired on TV a couple times. You know, they play you know, encore presentations or whatever have you. I watched that series online, uh, I don't know, five or six times. I really just enjoyed it. Like yeah. I said, it was simplistic, like animated, yeah. but it was yeah. nicely done like Beast yeah. Wars. And that's that was my, cool. That's my, uh, one of my other thoughts when you see later on. But coming up next, I'll have my thoughts, and you know, this that it's high time that we hear me out for the first time after all this. Because again, Jay, out of all these picks, I think it was just that this year had been one of those wild picks from yours, and I think this was out out of bloom, you know. Yeah, yeah. Those, like I said, those were some of the collab projects that we worked on that I really, really enjoyed being a part of. Not just because you know we were doing it together, but also because of the product that we were presented that yeah. was really really cool yeah but up next my man big b gonna take it and tell you how he feel about his top picks for 2010.